Blessings and respect. Greetings, everyone. This is your brother, Ross Nasik Shalom, and I have a serious note I have to speak upon right now. I'm big up on Facebook, you know. A lot of people don't see me on a social network, network, and they don't have a social network. But for those who see me on network, I have to speak on a lot of different hypertension beta blockers. I just spoke on that um, recently. But people have to understand it's a real serious thing, you know. Real serious thing. A lot of people are on these statin drugs, these cardiovascular drugs, you know. These doctors tell you, you're going to be on this for life. Forever. So once you get a blood clot here, got your own Lipitor, try to, you know, reduce that flow of the thrombosis, you know, dislodging and spreading to the brain or spreading to the heart so you don't have a coronary, you know, uh, attack, which is you know, basically a heart attack or a stroke. They got you on these drugs, though. They say you're going to be on it for life, but they don't realize, though, you're on these type of statin drugs, this warfarin, these atenol, these uh, diuretics. They put you on one, two, three, four steps of prescription drugs just to control your hypertension, just to control, you know, your, your, your high blood pressure. So you got to really think, you being on this for life, isn't that going to cause more toxins in the liver? Aren't your kidneys going to have to push harder or work harder to try to get rid of those toxins? There's a portal system in the kidneys. The third nephron, the third nephron has to get rid of that. It's like really poison to it. So it shuts down the, 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 the tubes, the, the nephrons, because it's trying to get run, rid of that that you know, that pharmaceutical, because it has heavy metals in it. I, I got so much up here, yo. You got so much up here. It's, it's heavy metals inside of those prescription drugs that's binding, like fillers to help bind those, um, those properties, those, you know, those synthetic drugs that they're using. All of these synthetic laboratory drugs that they're using. Heavy metals are binding those together. So it's toxic to our system, you know, aluminums, lead, uh, mercuries, and they use that for vaccinations, but I, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that. It's a whole different thing. But what I will get into is the fact that people hear this saying of high cholesterol and don't really know what that means. You on these high cholesterol drugs like Lipitor or, or what's the other, Aberstatin, I can't pronounce all these. It's all ending with a statin. I understand that the, you know, pharmacokinesis and the functions of these drugs are to lower the cholesterol plaque, the atherosclerotic plaque inside of that artery. So, when they have this high cholesterol, there's supposed to be a balance. There's supposed to be a balance. The liver is controlling how much cholesterol is being put out. Now, Cholesterol is basically saturated fat. All mammals, all mammals have saturated fat. That's what it is. I cannot stress enough, if a cow produces cholesterol, uh, chicken cholesterol, um, you get it from saturated fats. All animal products have saturated fats. So therefore, you're going to have a, a high excessive amount of low-density lipoproteins that is being produced in that arterial wall. See, the liver has to put cholesterol to the to the arterial wall so it builds up the the um, actual epithelial lining of the artery. So it's building up those type of nutrients just in case it was you know damaged or something. Say that there is a blood clot and blood clots are basically the formation of blood platelets going to help a damaged artery. You see, if there's plaque building up, platelets have to stick to the rough edges of that plaque. And that plaque is only built up by the cholesterol that's trying to get through that pathway. That blood flow has some, it, blood flow is basically the lumen 
through that lumen, it gets clogged. And platelets will build up and build fiber. That's how, if you cut the outside of your skin, it's going to build some platelets there to build up a fiber. It's like a spider web. It's called a scab. Everybody understands that. I, I think I spoke on that before. But inside of the artery, it, it does the same thing. That's what you have some type of um, thrombotic effect. That meaning building a blood clot. I talked about anticoagulant uh, drugs in a previous video, and that's what they're they're giving those people. They, they're giving those people um, anticoagulant effects to um, push through that blood clot. That blood flow needs to increase. And that, that blood flow needs to increase. The heart rate has to work harder. Its workload is works much, much harder. Now, because it has a, like even with varicose veins, <laughs> we can go down to that far where you have these coronary arterial plaque that is flowing through that vein. It, it has a clot there and it's a bulging vein. Um, Arteries, renal arteries can get damaged and start clots. Coronary arteries can, pulmonary arteries, um, even cerebral cortex, which doesn't get enough oxygen to the brain, can cause uh, a damage if artery, uh, if plaque gets dislodged in certain places. So, what we're doing is, um, what the doctors are trying to do, is give you a blood thinner, something like Kudamin. They give you a blood thinner, something like Kudamin to to thin out the blood so to increase circulation. Not always a good thing because certain people, you know, have effects with vitamin K. Vitamin K is like your your kale, your cruciferous vegetables that you eat. And they actually have this protein S uh the synthesis with vitamin K. It doesn't synthesize well. It can cause a blood clot to this get dislodged and cause a damage somewhere else. Uh, maybe you can have a heart attack from just having um, eating kale and with um, kudamin, but the likelihood of that is 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 probably like one out of a thousand. You know, uh, they they kind of go overboard with the vitamin K thing, but I would stay away from the vitamin K, the cruciferous vegetables when you're doing uh, if you're on those drugs. Now. I don't pr prescribe any drugs at all. I don't think that drugs are good for you at all. See, herbs, on the other hand, have a multi-organ system that it's going to suffice for. It's going to help and aid all of those different organs. If there is a lymphatic system, a blood circulatory system, then the herbs is there to help the whole unit. This is not an isolated pathway that the drugs are doing for the body. We're not isolating one symptom. We are creating and, and basically helping, aiding, supporting, promoting. Can't say cure, you get what I'm saying? But we definitely are aiding that whole entire unit system. So that's the difference between the herbs and the drugs that they're using. Well, you see, um, none that I don't promote, you know, those who are using those um, you know anticoagulants or you know those type of uh, blood thinning drugs that they're using even though they say that you're going to be on those for life they said that you're going to be on it for life you have to wean yourself off of it it's going to take about three to four weeks straight up it's just going to take about three to four weeks you have to lower your dosage per week when you want to use something natural you never just jump off of the medication that the doctors have prescribed you I don't want to stress that enough. I don't want nobody having any type of heart attacks or you know high blood pressure. You know, send them to the hospital because they're taking one of my supplements or something like that. They have to be weaned off, and you need to actually consult with me first before you take a supplement. That way, you don't have an interaction or chemical reaction or negative uh, feedback from that particular herb. Like licorice could have some negative feedbacks when it comes to the kidneys, and you know heart and genus. So I have this particular formula. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's called the pure blood therapy. Pure blood therapy. Nice little detail I created right here. But um, 
This formula is definitely to substitute, hopefully substitute, the hypertension that most people are having. Most people are taking beta blockers, alpha blockers, channel blockers, um, diuretics, all of those things. But I'm using herbs like Hawthorne. Hawthorne berry is a, a Chinese medicine. 5,000 years been using it, you know, for, you know, basically the to stop or prevent the formation of blood clots. Um, there's plenty of studies on hawthorn berries or hawthorn powder. I use the powder because, you know, I'm basically mixing all contents to formulate a blend, a blend that does not um, offset the potencies of other herbs. So I'm also using herbs like cat's claw to um, you know, help with the hypertension cardiovascular health, uh, the heart palpitation or, you know, heart arrhythmias, or if anybody was having any tachycardias, it's cat's claw bark, uh, good for that, you know, um, uh, ginkgo biloba to help with the uh, circulation, the formation, uh, you know, the, the actual blood flow, and ginkgo is also good for brain health, you know, mental stress, uh, you know, memory health, but ginkgo is also great for blood circulation when it's formulated in the right compound. Um, also, you know, Magista, so that the blood is starting to be purified to uh, exert or expel all of the different toxins in the body to purify that blood. So this is a good, good supplement when it comes to pure, pure blood therapy. Now the reason why I'm saying it's therapy because it's going to take three to four months to actually purify your blood. All blood vessels, all blood vessels, blood arteries renew themselves. We take the nutrients from our blood and they renew the arteries walls and the vessels walls. They also call your arterioles, the venules, or the capillaries, lymphatic system. These are all have to be cleansed. So this is a, a can't stress enough, of course, you know, this is a great product for hypertension. This is substitution for uh, all of those hypertension drugs. Now, those who are uh, trying to substitute and get away from those pharmaceuticals, because we know that they're going to cause some damages in the long-term future, because they want you on this stuff for life. You need to know it's going to take at least three to four months to repair your blood and your arteries, to renew everything in your lymphatic system. Um, you got to eat right. You got to eat for the blood. That means all of your red colored vegetables, all of your red colored uh, fruits. You got to eat your, your, your um, sometimes you can't eat grapefruit, according to Kuderman. You can't eat grapefruit, but you can eat your, your uh, watermelons. If it's red, you can eat it. You can eat your tomatoes, even though I'm not a fan of tomatoes, because, but you do need the lycopene properties that help regulate the blood pressure. You can eat your red peppers, you can eat your cayenne peppers. If you sip cayenne pepper water per day, it'll help you not have a heart attack. And definitely, cayenne pepper water, it'll help not have a heart attack. Um, but you definitely have to eat right. Um, so remember to eat your red colored vegetables if you're having um, you know, high blood pressure, you have any blood clots or anything like that you definitely need to stay you know if you a, a good cholesterol food would be avocado eat some almonds that has saturated fat now, I said all plants they think I mean all animals have um, saturated fats but all plants don't have cholesterol so some plants like avocados and almonds have saturated fat so it has to be converted over into cholesterol from the liver. So it's a good thing, you know, we have some things that, you know, if you want to stay away from high cholesterol, stop eating meat. Well, I want to thank you guys for listening. I have plenty of other wonderful products that are coming out. Um, some of them are already being uploaded on the website. I want you to visit shalomhealthservices.com. Um, natural enzyme therapy, we're going to take over, you know, a lot of different ailments when it comes to digestion. I'm going to talk about it on the next video. Hopefully everybody stay tuned. Thank you for listening. Um, peace. Shalom.